All right, so in this video, we're going to look at deploying a serverless API to DigitalOcean using OpenFast and Docker Swarm. So if you don't already have an account with DigitalOcean, please use the link in the video's description to sign up. You'll also need to create an access token with DigitalOcean. So if you need help with that, go ahead and refer to the link that's also in the video's description. So assuming that you already cloned down the repo, go ahead and open up the project directory in your terminal. And the first thing you're going to want to do is set the environment variable for the access token. And so go ahead and call that DigitalOcean token. And so now we can go ahead and create a new droplet. So copy this command here. And you want to replace add your key with the name of that environment variable. So digital ocean token. So this is going to provision a new droplet on digital ocean. It will take a few minutes to run. Okay, it looks like that is done. And if you go to your DigitalOcean dashboard and refresh, you can see the new droplet there and the name is Node. Okay, moving right along, let's go to initialize Docker Swarm on the droplet. And then we can point the Docker daemon at the new Docker machine backend. And finally, we want to deploy the OpenFast stack onto that droplet. So I'm going to cd out one directory and run that command. Okay, so let's test to make sure that worked. We can first grab the IP address associated with the droplet by running docker-machine-ls. We can see here the IP, so it's going to be port 8080. So here's the OpenFast dashboard, and you can run any of these functions that come built in. So to deploy our own functions, we can head back to the deploy.md file here. And so you will need a database running somewhere. And so if you don't have anything, I recommend Elephant SQL. That's just elephantsql.com. They do have a free tier, which I will be using. So let's create a new instance. I'm going to name it OpenFast Demo. We can grab the URI here and go ahead and psql into that. And we'll want to create a table called movie, with the following fields, ID and name. Go ahead and exit out of that, cd back into the OpenFast node RESTful API directory. So if you haven't already, go ahead and rename um, m-sample to just m.yaml, and we'll need to update the environment variables. So let's grab the server name and add it to that m file for the host. The user in db is going to be the same, and that is the database where we added the movie table. Oops, let me grab it. And finally, grab the password. Okay, so now we can just run a build using the fast CLI. If you don't have that, you'll have to download and install that. And there is a link there for that. All right, cool. So finally, we can do a deploy. You can see we got 200s back for each of the functions. So again, this is just a basic CRUD app, so we do have functions set up for create, read, update, and delete. Okay, so to test, just run this curl command. So that's gonna create a new movie with the name NeverEndingStory. 
And we can also test this from the GUI. So my read is down here. I'm going to invoke that. And you can see never ending story. Maybe that was actually supposed to be the sequel, never ending story two. So we can do an update there. If we invoke it again, you can see now it's never ending story two. All right, so that's all I have. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.